Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said Friday that Ukraine would lose the war with its current strategy, a day after Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met with EU leaders in Brussels on Thursday to discuss his victory plan to end the devastating conflict with Russia. We are not involved in this, it is not our victory plan, Orban said on Friday in comments for Hungary's state broadcaster. However, we wish the Ukrainians to be right, but we believe that they can't win with this victory plan, they can only lose with it, he added. Zelensky has partially revealed his five-point plan aimed at prompting Russia to end the war through negotiations. Major points of the plan include an invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russia, steps that have been met with reluctance by Kiev's allies so far. He told EU leaders that, we can end this war no later than next year if his plan is followed. Orban, who is facing increasing isolation within the EU for his position on the war in Ukraine, called Zelensky's plan more than frightening in a Facebook post after Thursday's EU summit in Brussels. While the Hungarian prime minister has the warmest relations of any EU leader with Russian President Vladimir Putin, the European Union is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. Két csoportból áll az Európai Unió az ukrán háborúval összefüggésben, vannak a többiek, meg mi. Így tudom leírni a helyzetet. A... Majd egyszer megírják a történészek, hogy ez hogy alakult ki, de ugye Magyarország a kezdetek kezdetén bejelentette, hogy mi nem akarunk részt venni a háborús erőfeszítésekben. Ma az Európai Unió összes többi országa benne van a háborúban. A másik 26 ország döbbenten kellett, hogy meghallgassa az Zelenszki elnököt arról, hogy most akkor neki van egy győzelmi terve. De hát eddig milyen volt? Azt hittük eddig is egy győzelmi terv szerint haladnak. De kiderült, hogy nem. Az, ami eddig tervként létezett, arról kiderült, hogy az a vereség terve. Most erről át akarnak váltani a győzelem tervére. Mi azt mondtuk, én is ezt mondtam tegnap, hogy mi ebben nem veszünk részt. Mi ez, ez, ez nem a mi győzelmi tervünk, és szerintünk. Kívánjuk az ukránoknak, hogy legyen igazuk, de ezzel a győzelmi tervvel nem lehet nyerni, ezzel megint csak veszíteni lehet. A nemzeti konzultációról és az új magyar gazdaságpolitikáról is kérdeztem az elmúlt fél órában Orbán Viktor miniszterelnököt. European Union leaders were attending a summit on Thursday to seek ways to make the bloc a more hostile destination for migrants and asylum seekers while discussing escalating tensions in the Middle East and Russia's military campaign in Ukraine. The summit comes following a recent surge in support for the extreme right, which has fomented opposition to foreigners. The 27 EU leader are looking at plans to speed up initiatives to get unwanted migrants out of the bloc and process asylum applications far outside their borders. The tenor of the debate is a far cry from 2015, less than a decade ago, when the EU was faced with a migration crisis. Well over a million migrants and refugees sought help then, mainly from the Middle East and Afghanistan. Now, EU leaders want to manage and seal off their borders ever more tightly, embracing initiatives that would have looked unacceptable only a few years ago. Let's implement the Migration Pact, said Roberta Metzola, European Parliament President. The plan lays out rules for the 27 member countries to handle people trying to enter without authorization, from how to screen them to establish whether they qualify for protection to deporting them if they're not allowed to stay. Let's implement the Migration Pact. This was a big decision we took uh, in April. Let's understand that there are gaps. We haven't moved on returns. We need to make sure that the implementation is effective. And let's also look at possibilities to understand, important, understand the position and situation that individual member states find themselves in uh, within the parameters of our values and international law. What's happening there is a catastrophe, a chronification of a humanitarian crisis. 18,000 children 
orphans. 20% of the Lebanese population has to leave. 400,000 children have to leave their houses in Lebanon alone. Another attack to UNIFIL. I hope the country, the, the Council, will strongly condemn the attacks of the Israeli forces against UNIFIL. So I think the first thing we have to say is our people right across the European Union, including in Ireland, want to see governments getting a grip uh, when it comes to the migration issue. Irish people are extremely fair. They're extremely compassionate. We get the benefits of migration. I know the benefits of migration. But Irish people also want to know that there's a firmness to the system, that there are rules, that the rules are applied. 